I've been using Filmora Video Editor for a little while now and with each update it gets better and better. Originally I was running an i7 4790K processor and 16GB of RAM. It ran fairly smoothly and I was pretty happy. At a slightly later date I decided to enable GPU acceleration which really didn't make much difference as the Intel HD graphics built into the processor wasn't really up to the job. So after doing some homework, it seemed that the GTX 1050 Ti was probably one of the better equipped budget graphics cards for GPU acceleration. The card was cheap, it had 4GB of RAM and it was equipped with 768 CUDA cores. So after upgrading to the GTX 1050 Ti, I decided to upgrade my entire system to a Ryzen 5 3600, overclock to 4.2 GHz all cores with 16 GB of DDR4 RAM. At this point I then decided to load up one of my previous videos which runs for 5 minutes 40 seconds. It has transitions, effects, extra audio, all the stuff that you'd expect in a normal YouTube video. And then I decided to do some testing with GPU enabled and also GPU disabled. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the results. We'll start with the render preview with the CPU only. It's 1 minute 20 seconds and we get it down to 48.9 seconds with the GPU acceleration. Now with the MP4 4K export, we've got 9 minutes 13 and we have quite a good saving of time here down to 6 minutes 38 seconds with the GPU acceleration. The high efficiency codec is pretty much the same again. So I was very happy with the results for quite some time until this card came out. This is the GTX 1650 Super. So this card has 1280 CUDA cores compared to the GTX 1050 Ti's 768 CUDA cores. But that's not what makes it really special in my opinion. This GPU uses the TU116 Taurin architecture which gets the full fat Taurin NVENC video encoder block. Now this has been getting quite a few people excited because it's very very efficient and apparently fast so hopefully that's going to translate really well with the Filmora video editor. That's why I went out and purchased one. Before we move on, here's a quick image of the 100% GPU utilization when GPU acceleration is enabled within Filmora. And on this screenshot, we can see that when GPU acceleration is disabled, the CPU takes over. Okay, back to some testing and let's have a look what the render preview is with the GTX 1650 Super down to 42 seconds. Well, that's not a massive difference, but the system does feel one heck of a lot smoother. On to the exporting part of the test. MP4 1080p, we've got a time of 2 minutes 56 to beat. And there it is, 51.7 seconds. I was really hoping to see a big improvement and I'm really excited to see the rest of the results. Let's move on. MP4 4K export, 6 minutes 38 seconds, down to 1 minute 27 seconds. That really is a stonking result. High efficiency video codec 1080p, 2 minutes 56 down to 51 seconds. And finally HEVC 4K, we have 6 minutes 37 down to 1 minute 38 seconds. That is an absolutely brilliant result and I'm really chuffed to bits. Well there we have it, that was quite the journey for me. It was great fun doing all of this, putting the video together. And I pretty much think that both of these graphics cards are very decent for the money. The 1050 Ti, if you're on a budget, is a great GPU for acceleration. And if you've got a little bit of extra cash to splash, then maybe consider the GTX 1650 Super. It really is super.